This girl was scared. She wasn't going to cross him, no way, no how. Nothing we could do but pass her off to the EMTs, put him in a car, drive him downtown, throw him in a drunk tank. He sleeps it off. Next morning, out he goes, back home. But one night, my partner's out sick, and it's just me. And the call comes in, and it's the usual crap. Broke her nose in the shower kind of thing. So I cuff him, put him in the car, and away we go. Only that night, we're driving into town, and this sideways asshole is in my back seat humming Danny Boy. <laughs> and it just rubbed me wrong. So instead of left, I go right out into nowhere. And I kneel him down, and I put my revolver in his mouth. And I told him, this is it. This is how it ends. And he's crying, going to the bathroom all over himself, swearing to God he's going to leave her alone, screaming as much as you can with a gun in your mouth. And I told him to be quiet. But I need to think about what I was going to do here. And of course he got quiet. Goes still. And real quiet. Like a dog waiting for dinner scraps. And we just stood there for a while. Me acting like I'm thinking things over. And Prince Charming kneeling in the dirt with shit in his pants. And after a few minutes, I took the gun out of his mouth. And I say, so help me, if you ever touch her again, I will such and such and such and such and blah, 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 blah. It's just a warning. Oh, <laughs> of course. Just trying to do the right thing. But two weeks later, he killed her. Of course. Caved her head in with the base of a wearing blender. We got there, there was so much blood you could taste the metal. Hmm. Moral of the story is, I chose a half measure when I should have gone all the way. I'll never make that mistake again. <laughs>